guys welcome to today's video so today is going to be a Costco haul video I haven't done one of these in a while I want to say over the summer was my last one if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Taylor and I have two little ones I am almost six weeks postpartum with my little boy. If you've missed my pregnancy journey, if you're interested in following that or want to look back on my labor and delivery blog, I'll link everything down below in the description. But because it is the new year, happy new year. Today is the second or the third third I want to say what's today today is the second so happy new year you may be able to hear in my voice if you're a subscriber that I feel a little under the weather and with the holidays of course I indulged and I really just want to get myself and my family back on track to start the new year healthy I do plan on recording a new series on my channel all about getting my body back to pre-pregnancy so I'm excited to do a whole series on that so more to come anyway Anyways, I just want to mention that I have to stock up my entire house. We went back to Michigan for about a week and a half, so I have no food in the house because I wanted to make sure everything was um, empty and kind of thrown out before we left. So needless to say, I need to get these staples and all that good stuff. I did purchase an Instapot, right? And yeah, Instapot for Christmas for my husband and I so um, that should be here next week so I want to do some videos on recipes and how I'm liking that yeah so I'm gonna take you inside with me do a little shopping and then I'll do a full haul of what I purchased if you have any suggestions or any type of content you want to see regarding weight loss um, postpartum or any type of videos make sure you leave a comment down below hit the subscribe button if you're new here and like this video if you like videos like this but I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking and walk later Jeff just got home from work it's super dark out it's seven o'clock Peyton just went down to bed Calvin's in his swing so I didn't get to record this as soon as I got home but nonetheless I'm gonna go through everything share with you what I got my total bill was $223 so I'll just go ahead and start showing you what we picked up <clears throat> so the first thing is skinny pop this is like a ginormous bag I didn't necessarily get it for Jeff and I, um, but Peyton really likes to eat popcorn as a snack. So I just figured I'd grab the big bag. They do have the individual bags if you think that's easier to travel with your little ones, but it's a few dollars more. We do have like the little um, travel container cups that I can refill with the popcorn. I always, if you've seen my other Costco essential hauls and whatnot, you know that we are big almond milk drinkers in this house mainly um Peyton and I Jeff only drinks it in his coffee here and there so there's three half gallons in that big cardboard box and then if you guys are interested in my like trolley bags for the shopping cart they're amazing there's four two big ones one is insulated and another is like a smaller one but they're really nice they kind of you probably may have saw in the shopping cart how they kind of like hang over the um the railings or the sides of the cart they're really really nice salad wise and this is going to be all over the place because um the woman helping me pack didn't organize it the way that i would have but that's okay um i got two of these josie's organic caesar premium salad kits so I got two of those and one of these Asian cashew chopped salad kits. These are really nice when you just need something really quick like tonight. But you want to stay healthy. Um, so those are good options. And then I grabbed two rings of banana. I think they're called rings. Two rinds? Two rings of bananas? Let me know below what they're called. Um, so I grabbed one to keep in our pantry and then I always chop one up 
chop like an entire thing up and put it in the freezer for either like a sweet treat or I'll also put them in smoothies. One in the freezer, one in the pantry. And you'll notice that the ones that I'm gonna put in the freezer, they're a little bit more brown, so a little bit sweeter for um, smoothies and things like that. And then the only like household product I got are these Cascade Premium Pods. We were having issues with our dishwasher like taking all the food off of our um, like plates and silverware and things like that. So my father-in-law actually recommended using these and since we've switched we've had no issues with like water droplets or food remains on our silverware. So if you're having that issue maybe try the Cascade Premium or Platinum pods because they've worked for us really well okay so that's one bag down second bag i have red table grapes and peyton will go um back and forth between red and green grapes there's really no preference we just go back and forth i grabbed a container of strawberries peyton loves strawberries as well as myself and then a couple recipes that i want to try out called for these two um spices and these were really cheap. It was $2.99 for this huge um, container of turmeric and then a huge container of paprika as well, which I think was $2.99. And the next one, I have my favorite protein powder of life. This is the Orgain Organic Protein Powder in the chocolate. Costco actually has their own like line. I wouldn't say line, but like signature one of this they actually have probiotics in their version of this but peyton drinks this as well i give her her chocolate milk in the morning which is basically a half a scoop of this and almond milk and she loves it and um it was probably a bad decision on my end to get her hooked on it because if we just give her plain almond milk she literally shakes her sippy cup like where's the chocolate so <laughs> it's a good way to get extra calories and nutrients into your toddler but she has gotten very picky and needs it in the morning. Um, what else? Peyton eats this chickpea pasta rotini, so this will be good on hand. Um, when she needs it, I like the chickpea because it's just a little bit more nutrient, like dense or wholesome, I guess, than just like whole wheat pasta. And I've never gotten this before, but I was really intrigued. So this is cauliflower rice and there's six like microwavable pouches. <coughs> Excuse me. This is paleo and keto friendly, even though that doesn't really uh, obtain to me, but it's 25 calories per half cup and only five grams of carbs. So I think on like low carbs days or just trying to lose weight postpartum or lose weight in general, this is a really good alternative and you're still gonna feel really full eating it. So I'm excited, excited to try these. And of course a staple when you have a toddler and a staple for us are these go-go squeezes. There's four different flavors, apple, apple strawberry, apple banana, and apple cinnamon. Peyton has one of these every single day. And then I have a bag of bell peppers for some of the recipes that I wanna try out over the next week or so. I have a container of blueberries. We go through blueberries like crazy in our house. Two bottles of wine. One of my favorite bottles is this Phantom. Um, if you've never had it before, it's a really good red blend. Um, and it's a nice bottle to have on hand when you have guests around because it's a nicer bottle, um, even though it's really inexpensive. I wanna say this bottle is like at Costco at least. I wanna say it's around $15. So to me, it's a pretty um, decent price for how good of a bottle it is. And then another one I picked up that I've never had before is Infantino. Um, it's a red blend as well it had 90 points on the wine specter and 91 on the decanter world wine awards so we shall see but um if i didn't already mention this is also a red blend so jeff and i just wanted to have some extra nicer bottles of wine in the house for either him and i to enjoy or when we have guests over i grabbed a bag of zucchini and squash which we don't normally have in the house but one of the recipes that i wanted to use for food prepping called for zucchini and squash so stay tuned for those videos that i may do a um, like cook with me or like testing out our instant pot so uh yeah how to get these for those recipes and then i just grabbed a whole thing of um, chicken breasts and last but not least i picked up these organic stony fields probiotic yogurts for peyton so 
really just the staples a couple bottles of wine which we don't normally buy and those pods those dishwasher pods um which i think for 223 is not bad for a family of three especially buying things in bulk but anyways if you are new to my channel i hope you stick around and subscribe i'm really looking forward to the new year i hope you guys are too i hope this channel motivates you to try some new recipes and get your new year started in a healthy way so i will see you guys in the next video and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye guys